Hi guys, Joe Mendoza, real estate broker, investor, entrepreneur here in sunny San Diego. Guys, I'm really, really excited. We've got another Joe Cool in the house. <laughs> cool, cool <laughs> name. And I'm really, really excited. It's actually Joe Fairless, but check this out, guys. He's an author of several books. He runs the longest running daily podcast ever. He's taken down so many properties, went from 300,000 to 300 plus million, actually closer to half a billion right now. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Fairless in the house. Hey, the power of Joe's. This is going to, this is going to be a dynamic episode. Looking forward to our conversation. Thanks so much for taking the time, Joe. I'm really, really excited to have you on the show. So tell my audience, who is Joe Fairless? Uh, who is Joe Fairless? Uh, I am uh, first and foremost focused on um, maximizing the gifts that I have and um, focused on contribution um, to help others along the way. I believe it's necessary for me to try to optimize all the different areas of my life. And I work to do that on a consistent basis. And I have um, you know, different habits that I have in place in order to um, propel me to you know, different areas of my life, whether it's relationships or business or um, you know, personal development. Um, so that, that's who I am. Wow, Joe, you said a really, really key word there, habits. What kind of habits do you have? Well, uh, a lot of habits. I've been doing a daily journal for the last three and a half to four years. I write down um, just thoughts on uh, whatever whatever's going on at the time. And it's really cool um, and a um, good uh, good goal technique to do because um, it, it allows me to see where I was this time last year, what I was thinking, what I was working on, where I was two years ago, three years ago. And as I continue to do it, the, you know, the more uh, reflection I'll be able to have. And why I say that helps with goals is because it shows progress and there's a lot of fulfillment or lack thereof. Um, there have been some things that I haven't made progress on over the last couple of years. I'm like, holy cow, seriously, I'm, I'm still saying I should associate bad things to eating sweets. It's been three years now and I'm still munching on Oreos and chocolate chip cookies whenever I, I should be eating celery sticks uh, and, and having a more balanced, um, you know, a sweet tooth. And But there are other things from a business standpoint that – uh, you know, night, night and day different. And it, it's, it's very fulfilling. Uh, there's, there's fulfillment in progress. There's not fulfillment in maintenance. And so the, the daily journal allows me to uh, do that. And it's simply a word document, um, you password it, protected. Do you use it during the morning, evening? When do you actually go in that journal? No rules, no rules, just once a day. Sometimes the morning, sometimes it's randomly between calls. Sometimes it's at night, there's absolutely no rule other than I write in it every day, and it's simply a word document. Um, and just sometimes it's two two bullet points. Sometimes it's today I did the following. Sometimes it's today I will do the following. Sometimes it's I'm thinking this, I'm feeling this, and I learned this. Uh, it, it, there, there's absolutely no rules other than just to write down whatever I want to write down that day. Uh, so that, that's 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 been a really um, powerful habit. Another habit is I surround myself with my goals. So I create a vision board. I do it around the calendar year. It doesn't have to be, but I do it around the calendar year where I create a vision board and uh, I put the images into a PowerPoint slide. And then I save that slide as a JPEG. And then I upload the JPEG to Vistaprint and I, I uh, create a, like a, three foot by five foot poster, maybe it's not five feet, three feet by four feet poster. And I put that on my wall in my office. And I also save that image 
the JPEG image onto my phone and onto my computer desktop so that I'm constantly surrounding myself with my goals. And um, wherever I go, whether it's on my computer or if it's on my phone or if I'm in my office, I see what the vision is. And I've been doing that for the last couple years, and that's been really powerful um, as well. And um, I'd say the another, maybe one more habit I'll mention that's been, that's been really helpful is um, I, I drink a, a liter of water with a scoop of wheatgrass every single morning. And yeah, I, who, who, who knows? They'll talk to me in 50 years and we'll really see how that turns out. But <laughs> I've done that for about four or five years. Wow. And, you know, it's just all about alkalizing um, my body and my blood. And um, you know, we live in a acidic world. Right. Uh, stress can cause, can cause acid and, and so can things we eat. So, especially if you have sweet tooth. So, you know, having this, the liter of water with a scoop of wheatgrass, not only does it, I believe, may, you know, promote health, but also it simply wakes me up in the morning. I mean, my eyes are literally opening up as I'm drinking this a liter of water with a scoop of wheatgrass. And if I just drink a liter of water, it'd probably do the same thing in terms of waking me up. But then I had added some greens every morning too. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, listeners, but check this out. It's not always about the business. You know, most successful people, what I've noticed is they really are conscientious about their health as well, because health is energy. Health can make you do a lot more things than you normally would. So this is exciting. Now, check this out, guys. Joe also mentioned another powerful word. I don't know if you caught it, but he said contribution. So check this out, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, best ever book, Apartment Syndications. Check this out. I'm reading through it. I'm taking a lot of notes. Joe, why another book? By the way, it's incredible. I'm not all the way through, but man, why another book? It's good. It was needed. There, there's nothing else like it out there. I mean, you're not all the way through yet, but it sounds like you've read some. Would you agree that there's nothing else out there? And, if, and please be, you know, if there is, then let me know. <laughs> yes, I, I read tons and tons of books. Uh, right now, actually, my focus on the asset class is multifamily right now. And no, there is no other book. Joe is very, very thorough, guys. You ought to put, pick up a copy. It's on Amazon, and I've read through it. And I, again, guys, I wouldn't be taking as many notes as I am, but it's very, very powerful. He knows what he's talking about. Pick up a copy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, and the, the key for me whenever I decide to write a book is if, if it is needed in the marketplace. If people, um, if there's nothing out there that, specifically addresses what I think needs to be addressed to help others. And if this book was published whenever I was getting started, it would be a whole, I, mean, I don't know about easier. Well, it probably would be easier. Yeah, it'd be easier. It wouldn't be easy, but it would be easier. And, um, you know, the book is, is structured and it's, it's a book on apartment syndication. So it teaches you how to, um, go step by step to do an apartment syndication from building your brand, identifying your goals, to investor conversations, to um, building your team, underwriting deals, making money, doing due diligence, closing on deals, asset management, all that stuff. And um, there wasn't anything out there that I could find. There were some things that were close cousins to what I did, but not uh, in my immediate uh, family. So I decided I wanted to uh, write the book based on my experiences of creating an apartment syndication company. Um, and uh, so it, it has been well received and I'm, I'm very grateful that it has. Awesome. Awesome. So Joe, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to hear a word from our sponsors. Guys, hang on. We'll be right back. Okay. We're going to take a quick break, guys, and we're going to hear a word from our sponsors. So hang on just a second. We'll be right back. What will you do with an extra $50,000 to $250,000 in cash credit? More deals? More fix and flips? More marketing? Or business expansion? Guys, visit Fund and Grow. Click on my website or visit 
fundandgrow.com backslash Joe Mendoza team for more information. Do mention Joe Mendoza show if you do call in for up to $500 off normal pricing. Need more leads? Business slowing down? Yes, I want to earn more money working less. Well, visit top-tierleads.com backslash Joe Mendoza. Top, T-O-P, hyphen, tier leads dot com backslash Joe Mendoza. Up to 20% off all plans. Do mention Joe if you do call in. Akshay Patel, a top mortgage planner over at Easy Fundings Home Loans. NMLS ID 1492486. Need a home loan or refi? Go ahead and call them at 858-207-8436. Cat Cam Real Estate. Looking to buy, sell, or invest? California Broker DRE 018-42606. Call them at 877-794-5227. Need a home loan? Call Skip Cook over at Bank of America. NMLS ID 1369000. He's a top senior lending officer for North County, San Diego. Looking for a home loan or refi? 760-481-8009. Need assistance on calls? Are you having trouble keeping up with your leads? Go ahead and reach out to Pat Live, 24-7 live answering service. They are US-based, virtual assistance, message taking, appointment scheduling. Call them at 1-800-891-2640. 1-800-891-2640. Looking for a hassle-free sale? Pay no commissions? Reach out to my friends over at McCormick National Holdings, specializing in acquisitions, both commercial and residential real estate. Feel free to call them at 760-624-8276. Again, 760-624-8276. Want unlimited seller leads? Call my friends over at Cole Realty Resources. Now list for open house invitations, just listed, just sold campaigns, or Facebook target audience ads. Integrate calls via slide broadcast. Mention Joe Mendoza for a huge discount. Call them at 1-800-800-3271. 1-800-800-3271. Or email them at your success at coleinformation.com. Be sure to mention Joe Mendoza for a huge discount. And now, back to our show. Guys, we're back with Joe Fairless in the house, ladies and gentlemen. So many golden nuggets. I mean, starting with habits, guys, it's very, very important that you could really want something, but if you can't back it up with the behaviors and the habits, the discipline, nothing is ever going to happen. So, Joe, from when you started having like three single family homes and about 300,000 to making this massive quantum leap to over 300 million in like three short years, now pushing that half a billion dollar clip. Tell us like, what was your mindset? How'd you do that? Um, I would say from a mindset standpoint, the key is to, well, there are a lot of keys to, in order to do that, but one of them is to be the most resourceful person you know. And what I mean by that is you know, there's going to be challenges along the way, and they're inevitable, and no challenge that you or I come across is unique. It has been solved before. Uh, we're not creating a business that is um uh like facebook whenever whenever mark zuckerberg created it um we are creating 
um, a business that has done before, um, assuming that you're doing apartment syndication. So, and you know, in most areas of real estate, this applies to maybe if you have some technology company startup in uh, real estate, then that might not apply. But for the most part, what we're all doing has been done before successfully and unsuccessfully by others. And the key is to um, find the blueprint. And that's why shows like yours are so great because it um, lays out some of the blueprint um, that the guests have um, in order to achieve their success. And then we can follow that blueprint. Uh, so um, from a mindset standpoint, the key is to, one of the keys is to maintain the resourcefulness mindset. Because when we're resourceful, then we can find the answer. We can go on, listen to a podcast like yours. We can you know, read, read a book. Uh, we can go interview people and start our own podcast or blog. We can, you know, go reach out to other people on LinkedIn who we're connected to. There's all sorts of ways that we can get the answers um, or get the resources because other people have done it. I guarantee you, whatever your challenges, whatever my challenges were or are, someone else had it harder and they came out on top. And so it's not about where we're at and what you know, life has thrown our way. It's about what we do about it and how resourceful are we in order to accomplish what we need to accomplish. And um, it's really about uh, connecting and building relationships with others so that they want to be on your side. I think that's the key here is you want allies. I am a firm believer of, of building long-term relationships and how you do that is you help others out. And that's why I mentioned at the very beginning of our, of our conversation, this all ties together. My focus is on contribution and helping others along the way while optimizing the different areas of my life, because I believe through that optimization process, I'm doing what I should be doing. And why not? make as much money as I can if that is an area that I can continue to contribute to others along the way. And if I didn't, then I wouldn't be maximizing the potential that I have. Why not um, have as great of a relationship as I can with those around me? Um, why not have as good of a body or as great of a body as I can? Um, so, it's not, but it's, it's not a solo game. It's not, it's, it, it's a team sport. All of those areas are team sports in order to recruit people or really to attract people to your team in those different areas of life. You've got to be attractive. And in order to be attractive, um, people want to be, need to be, want to be around you. And um, people want to be around you if you're helping them accomplish what they're looking to do too. So all roads lead back to contribution, adding value to people's life. And then through that as your foundation, you can accomplish a lot of things. That's fantastic, Joe. Now you keep saying contribution and it's almost worded as a mission statement. Is it a mission statement for you? I, I have a, on my vision board, the secret to living is giving. Nice. And it's a Tony Robbins quote. I've had that quote on my vision board for the last three or so years. I also have on my vision board, number one, and there's a heart. And it's, um, um, the, it, it means that my first um, uh, driving force is love. And then I have number two, and there's a globe with uh, four stick figures, like help, two of them helping each other up to get on top of the globe. And that represents contribution. So helping others along the way. Um, they're like pulling the other people up. So like global contribution and um, then love. Those are my um, two driving forces. Uh, they used to be contribution and significance and love wasn't in there. And I went to a Tony Robbins seminar and I realized, well, if I uh, update my approach so that I swap out significance, you know, me wanting to make sure that I feel significant and important and swap that out with love, I can have a more powerful impact. And so my focus since then has been on love and contribution. 
That is fantastic, Joe. Now, you talked about challenges earlier, too. Let's rewind the clock a lot. When you first started, what were some of the biggest challenges and how did you overcome them? Um, I, I mean, certainly perception and credibility. I mean, I had bought three single family homes and then I wanted to get uh, into larger deals and I, I had forty to fifty thousand dollars in my bank account, and the only reason I had that was because um, I had refinanced the house and I purchased it at a right a, a good price, and so I I got fifty thousand dollars out of it and still cash flowed. Um, so I was um, very frugal with my money um, and I kept my expenses low, so I saved a lot of money, relatively speaking. Um, when I was making 30000 all the way to when I climbed the corporate ladder and I was making $150,000, I kept my living expenses relatively the same, regardless of um, my salary that I was making at my full-time job at the time. Um, and I, so I had some money, but I had three single-family homes, four, excuse me, four single-family homes. I sent sold one. It was an ugly duckling. And, um, so I still I still have three of them though, and I um, I came across a challenge of well I've never done a large deal before, but I'm looking to bring in partners to uh, essentially bring their bring their capital so that we can do a large deal, and um, that's going to be a challenge with anyone. Uh, if they haven't done a large deal, then that will be a challenge that you haven't done it. So you're, you have lack of credibility and the solution there, I write about this in my book. I, I mentioned many solutions, but a, a couple solutions um, that we can talk about is, well, you align yourself with the right partners. And uh, as long as there's alignment of interest with your partners, then um, you can uh, have the focus be more on them because they're aligned with your investors and less on your lack of experience. Um, now, um, to be clear, I am not saying you should get into apartment syndication if you do not know the basics and you're not well educated. Um, I believe that you need to be educated um, and you need to know um, the ins and outs of it as well as you can before you have done a deal. But eventually, you're going to be prepared enough to do a deal and you haven't done one yet. So here's the solution. You have the alignment of interest with your investors through partnering up with team members. So some specific ways to do that and some specific ways that I have personally done it when we were growing our company. One is we partnered with brokers to, uh, to uh, have 25% ownership in one of our deals and in exchange, um, they invested their commission back into the deal. So we were able to say to our investors, yeah, we don't have the experience yet, but uh, the investors or the brokers on the deal have you know, three, four decades of experience and they are investing their money into the deal because they like the deal so much. Um, another way that I've shown alignment of interest with investors when I didn't have the track record quite yet was we partnered up with a property management company. We brought 70% of the equity, but we only received 50% of the general partnership. And we did that because they had the liquidity and net worth to get approved on the loan. Plus we uh, had, they had the track record of taking some deals full cycle. We have since taken deals full cycle and you know, we've got almost $500 million worth of apartment communities in our portfolio. So we've got, all the boxes checked that we have that we need to have checked now. But at the beginning, those are two specific ways that I, sh I had alignment of interest that I, I was able to partner up with people um, and other groups to help with that credibility challenge. Wow, fantastic, Joe. That was incredible. I coach uh, nationwide agents, broker managers, leaders, and a lot of them I'm sharing that insight like, hey guys, forgo your commission the upside on equity could be huge. Don't think short-sightedness, and I'm glad you dropped that golden nugget, Joe. That was incredible. Hey guys, I wish I could have Joe for a lot longer, 
but unfortunately we both got to go and do other things today. Any last tips, Joe, to our audience? Um, no, I, I don't think there's any last, last tips that I have. And um, I think, I think you've, you've, you've asked some great questions and we've covered it. Fantastic, Joe. Such a pleasure, again, having you on our show. And thanks so much for being so generous with your time, your knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, pick up the book. It's incredible. I'm not just pitching it just because. I've read a lot, a lot, a lot of books and by far goes into a lot of detail. It's so incredible. Joe, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. And uh, when you buy the book, um, email the receipt to info at joefairless.com and uh, you will uh, receive some extra goodies uh, from Samantha, our team member, as long as you mention that you heard about this offer from this podcast. Thanks again, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, hit the like button, whatever, spread the good word. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Our company is not responsible for the success or failure of your business decisions relating to any information presented by our company or our company programs, products, and or services. 